Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going over day 22, 22? Uh, of the no November, uh, November Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. So if you see this, um, note that I will show the live portion a little bit later. Uh, feel free to fast forward or whatever you need. But I'm just doing the explanation in the beginning because it's a long video. And for long videos, I tend to try to do that. And this one is not hard. It's just that the video is long because I make silly mistakes. And the sad thing is that uh, a year ago, I made, I guess, mostly the same errors. So maybe this is just my something that I'm really bad at, maybe. So uh, maybe don't go by me on this video. Maybe check something else out. But the thing that I noticed uh, after a while uh, on this, I mean, this is going to be all of H time, all of H space, uh, H being the height of the tree. And the thing that I would say is, um, what is the thing that I would say? The thing I would say is just try to figure out invariant. And this code is so ugly that I don't even think it's worth going. But try to figure out invariants and try to figure out how to get to um, how to get to each uh, 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 problem. Uh, the thing that I, I got messed up on a little bit is that um, when I remove a node, what happens? Right? I'm looking at the one right here. Um, if I, when I remove the one, what happens? Well, what I did was try to get the next bigger number, which in this case is a two, to replace it with. Um, but then here I dropped the three, so the three just needs to be connected to four, and that's all you need to do. But it's just so, like, you just have to really think for it. Uh, of course, I don't have these memorized in case you're wondering, because I did, it wouldn't take an hour, and I don't look up solutions ahead of time, because that is... Because if I did, this would be embarrassing. But yeah, but it's just about going through a lot of edge cases and then implementing it afterwards. I probably could clean this up a little bit, to be honest. Um, but uh, it's a mess. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna, So first, I just get the depth of search to kind of find the node and with its parent. I do use a trick called the Sentinel uh, values to connect it so I don't have to worry about um, removing the root. Um, and then here, as I, I just have I break it down to if statements. If the node is a leave, we can remove it by getting rid of it from the parent. Uh, if the node has a left node, um, then we get the rightmost value, and then we we walk for it. If you have trouble with these linked list problems or tree problems, which is kind of like linked list because you're re moving around pointers, definitely just trace them one at a time as much as you can, and yeah, and think through the edge cases. Um, but of course, I have so many wrong answers, so maybe I can't really talk about this particular one. Uh, and then the right side is the same, but symmetric. Um, do, do I need this, actually? Mm. I think technically, actually, I probably don't need this uh, now that I think about it. I mean, I, I, I did it this way, but if the left side is none, then you can just attach, you can promote everything to the right side, right? Um, because, yeah, I should, yeah, that's actually true. Um, yeah, because everything on the right side can be promoted because there's nothing on the left side. Because if nothing is on the left side, then this uh, node is just the, smaller, the smallest value in the subtree, right? So anyway, um, that's not what I end up doing. So here, uh, yeah. So I just get the rightmost value from it, and then I, I do some if statements to kind of remove it from the parent and so forth. Um, yeah. Whew. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, and you could watch me solve this from recording whatever live next. Um, see ya. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing day 22 of the November Legal Day Challenge live. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Today's problem is delete node in the binary search tree. So this is, of course, um, a very textbooky problem, but I remember I kind of vaguely have issues of it. Um, number of notes is okay, but yeah, um, okay. I and mean, I think this is it, it's it's conceptually not that hard. It's just tricky in the sense that is tricky in the sense that um, uh, it, it's it's tricky in the sense that there are uh, possibly a lot of edge cases, so you just have to be careful about what what it is. Um, so I'm gonna do two things, I suppose. One thing is uh, find a node first, um, and then. And then, yeah, and then try to figure out how to... So there are two ways you can think about it. One is maybe pr propagate the nodes up one node at a time, kind of like a heap, maybe. 
Um, the, another way to think about it is that when I remove a node, how to find another one that we can replace it with? Are all the numbers unique? Okay, each node is unique, so the, so we don't have to worry about about edge cases where the nodes why you are the same. But but yeah, so then that means that for a given node, for example, this three that is highlighted, um, we can take either the rightmost of the left node or leftmost of the right node. Um, and I think that should be okay. Um, I think if we do that, then we are good. Um, yeah. Okay. And there are a couple of things you can do, to, uh, of course, with these things. It's a little bit awkward. Depends on how you want to do delete. You can either replace in place value or you can actually delete. So let's let's play around with that. Uh, we'll see. Because I, I think these ones... Um, you know, beyond understanding binary search in a very basic level, um, it's just about if statements and so forth, if you ask me. I don't really remember any that many details, to be honest, uh, like the textbook version of it. I would also say that um, one thing to note is that this is a binary search tree, which is not necessarily a binary or not necessarily a balanced binary search tree. So as long as you kind of eh, make sure that it's still a binary search tree, then that's fine, which is what I said about getting the value that is the closest to it, whether that's the next value in the in the um, order or the previous value in the order, which is where the getting the left most of the right or right most of the left comes from. So, okay, let's actually find the node first. So let's have a find. Uh, if the node is not found, then we can just return root. Okay, fine. Um, find node value. Uh, if node.value is equal to t, return node. Um, okay, let's just do also if node is none, return none. Uh, okay, and then now we just go, you know, it doesn't really matter, left or right. So if find node.left key, uh, ooh, I wrote key, but I meant value, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Uh, or, I mean, it matters, but you just have to be consistent with it. Um, okay, so left is equal to this. If left is not none, then we turn left. And then we also find right. If node, same thing. If right is not none, then we turn right. And then, of course, we turn none because you can't find it in the subtree. So, okay, so then now we just find node is equal to... Uh, find a root of key and if node is none we just return root right because the tree hasn't changed uh let's see okay yeah otherwise other ways oh hmm well i i was i just saw this one where I'm, where it's a node value um or there's there's no tree um but i guess that's okay i think i handle that so then now we have to remove it right so remove uh to remove, find the leftmost. Oh, okay. Well, let, we can actually break it down, right? Uh, if node.left is none and node.right is none, uh, then why do we move the parent? Um, which is a little bit awkward, I suppose. Um, hmm. Oh, the easiest, I, I guess I should have thought about this a little bit before, but I didn't remember this case. So we would have to remove node, so we we'll have to figure out the parent maybe. So here maybe we can do something like, maybe we can re return the file, change the, the definition of fine a little bit. Um, so yeah, so meh, it's a little bit awkward to be honest, but uh, let's see. But I mean, it's, it's not hard. It's just about thinking through all the tests, all the edge cases and thinking about whether the invariant holds because I've done this enough times that I know that invariant is good. Um, but I have to really think about how I want to do the invariant here. Um, okay, I mean, let, let's just do it as you think it is, which is just check for um, none. This only happens on the root. Um, yeah, this is very awkward, actually. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, hmm. How do I want to phrase it? Okay, well. Yeah, maybe that's fine. And then here we return. But then here, now we have to be careful, right? Uh, okay, this is a little bit of a mess. This is always a mess. Okay, let's just change this. Um, okay. So then now we go, okay, if... And, and no dot left dot value is equal to t return left uh, return node dot left and node for its parent. Um, we do the same with the right. It's a little bit yuckier. Um, otherwise. Uh, okay, so then left is you go to find node value uh, if left is not none, then we return uh, left. Do the same thing here. Uh, of course, I messed up. Yeah, okay. I think maybe this is okay. If node is none, then we return root. That means we don't find it. Um, if this is the case, then if parent is none, then this is the root. Then we just return none because that means that there's no node in the tree. There's only one node, and we removed it. Otherwise, um, this is a leaf. So then parent dot. Um, oh, hmm, I guess I should point out where it is. But I guess we can add the if statement. It's fine. If parent dot left is equal to uh, key. This is a little bit yucky, I'm not going to lie. Um, then parent.left is equal to none. If parent.right is equal to key, parent.right is equal to none. Uh, technically, this should only be true when key uh, when node is not none, but that's just, let's just be a good citizen and check for it anyway. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we can just return the root in this case. Um, okay, so then now if left node is not none, that means that we can use the left node to get the rightmost thing. So, so we, yeah, rightmost. So we just do, okay, so current is equal to node.left, um, and then we just get the rightmost, right? So while current uh, right is not none, Current, hmm, how do we do this? Well, we we want to get the value, so that's fine. But we also have to get the parent. So, um, yeah, okay. Pa parent again. Uh, we don't care about the parent anymore because we're now removing the node. So okay, so we uh, you go to node, uh, and then here, uh, parent is equal to current, and then current remove right. And then while after this is done, that means that current now it contains the, the the last element. We can say then um, let's see. So current dot value we want to we want to take node dot value is equal to this because we remove the node and then and then we want to we we dot um. This is a little bit awkward in terms of cases um, because we don't really count the link. But uh, yeah, because you want to do something like this is equal to true, or you want to set this. But of course, this doesn't work if this only happens once. So yeah, uh, if uh, none, then, then we go at least once. Otherwise, if current dot right is none, then you have this case where, um, for example, three goes to the two, and then two is done. So then you have to do something like parent dot left is equal to none, um, or technically no dot left is equal to none. But um, parent dot or no dot value is equal to current dot value still. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whew. 
and then else that means that node is no that right is not none so we do the same thing uh but to the other side um, and of course one of these things have to be true because otherwise this is true uh so yeah at least one of these two things have to be true um so we go to the right to get the leftmost not happy about this to be honest um this is way yucky But, but yeah, just, if you have trouble following, just, you know, look at each pointer. And I mean, this is basically what it does, right? This is, uh, let me actually annotate it. If node is a leaf, we remove it um, by getting rid of the parent. Oops. It, of it from the parent. Uh, if node has a left node we get the rightmost value from it um node has to have a right node oh in this case we get the leftmost value from it um and then that's it and then we just return root again and let's give it a spin i don't know how confident i am on this one uh it's a little bit yeah okay um let's see I don't think we do the case where we turn one value um, and then we also mm, maybe one two three and then we turn one uh, one two three we return two one two three we return uh, we remove three uh, then let's give it a spin Ooh, the wood node is not oh yeah I forgot um, how does this look like I always forget that I'm just I just created a tree but it's not a binary tree search tree so okay two one three is that right okay so that's good and we did three cases anyway they're just in different orders i envisioned it but ah wrong answer Does, so that that's good that means that uh oh let me just add one for not having an answer uh but uh, this is good in that now we have to, we want to see how we get it wrong uh okay that's, that's mm, so it seems like we don't delete these things which is obviously wrong um, unless I'm missing something weird. Uh, let's see. Do we not find anything here? That's kind of awkward. Well, it just seems like we... Did I add something? Because didn't we get a correct answer for a second? No, I didn't change anything. Hmm. That's really weird. Like it was... Huh. Because then I... Okay. Well, it just seems like we're not deleting anything. For some reason. Oh, no, that's not true. We do definitely change some things here. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. We Okay, let's look at this one. We removed the... What do we want to remove here? We removed the three. So, yeah. Oh, the diff is... Okay, I mean... Okay, so this is right... It's just that there's a diff, um, but it is a, it is a rounded answer. Okay, but I, I definitely get these things wrong, which is uh, not so fine, but we can dig into it a little bit. So the one node case is good, maybe. Uh, why is that? Um, because that is an if statement I have what to get, get out of here. Uh, okay, so we found the node, we found the parent. Hmm, let's see. Did I mess up? I did mess up because I, I did a refactoring of the, how I write this and then I forgot um, I forgot to fix it for, um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, if node dot value is equal to key, this can only happen when this is root. I forgot about this one. because we go before that so then we just turn node and none okay let's give it a spin I and mean, this should still be wrong for the other ones but um but at least it should solve that one i think 
uh, yeah okay so that look so this looks good for one more thing uh, I don't know uh, the visualization is a little bit tricky so we do the two one three uh, we we do remove the left um, so this is the thing where this is okay mm, it's okay so we do oh I guess this part is wrong then because if no that because the node that we're removing is uh, a leaf, the pound is none, the pound that left is not none. And but... Did I mess up the pound? Maybe the pound part is wrong. Uh, I don't know how to read this necessarily. Oh no. Mm. So this is. So looking for one, the pound is one. Okay, that's good. One, the pound is two, which is also good. Um, so then why can't it delete it? Let's see. Uh, one of these things is none. Uh, okay, fine. So this is for leaves. Uh, so one of these is one, which is the first one. And then, so the two left contains the one. So why is this one? Pound is none, return none. Okay. Pound that left is not none. That's true. And key. Did I mess up the key or something? Oh, oh, typo. Uh, uh, that's what happens when you don't have type safety. Where else did I do this? Did I do something similar somewhere? Uh, okay, no, these, these are right here. Uh, okay. Okay, still wrong. That's a little bit sad. Uh, this one's good, but this one I think is good. So it's the second to last one where we remove the three that is wrong. Right, yeah. Hmm. Do we not find the three? Do I have another typo? It's very possible to be honest at this point. But let's see. The leaf, the number three is a leaf as well. So yeah, we definitely don't find it for some reason. Do I have a typo? I typed this really fast, uh, so yeah, so this might not be 100% right. So okay, so three, the pound is none. So that's clearly wrong. Uh, do I return? Hmm. Why is that? Dum, dum, dum. Did I mess up the tree? Let's take a look at the input just to make sure. No, this is right. Okay. Um, hmm. That's weird, right? I probably have a typo somewhere, but let's see. That's why I usually spacing, though this time I'm a little bit sloppy about it. Go right, go. Yeah, I mean, this looks okay. Whoops. Yeah, this is going to put in a lot of stuff, isn't it? Apparently not. Prints nothing, in fact. Why, why is that wrong? Well, one thing is I, I keep comp checking with keywords as well, even though I said that I shouldn't do it. Yeah. But that shouldn't matter, though. Don't think that matters, but let's run it anyway. Hmm. Uh. 
and that's why you want to make sure things are right before you get to the debugging stage because these things can happen and it, these things makes you really sad uh okay do i hmm Oh, this returns. This is not true. That's why. I have, uh, that's what happens when you refactor stuff. Um, is left of C or is not none? What a silly bug. Um, because this is this returns a tuple that contains none, which is not the same. Uh, okay, that's one for all the things. Uh, okay. This has been a very long video. I, I always suck at these, but let's give it a submit. Hopefully, oh, last time I had four wrong answers, and this time I have one wrong answer. Uh, this, like I said, this one is just a lot of edge cases. Uh, let's see what what's going on here. What's wrong with this one? Uh, what are we moving? Seven. So we should be able. To, oh. Uh, so basically. I needed to get a leaf. Okay, so I was wrong here on this one. Uh, I made a mistake because basically what I do now is, uh, this is such an annoying thing to write. Um, but what I do, what, happen, what happens now is that I was wrong. Um, I mean, I was writing that six is the next number, but then after I removed six, I, I cut off the tree, I think, or something like that. Um, so I needed to, to um, update the the five. Uh, how do I want to do it? Let me think about it for a second. Apparently, the first time I try it, it had four wrong answers, so that's a little bit sad. Um. Well, mm, okay. Uh, mm, if the node is already, um, let's see, maybe I have a, one more thing that uh, so, uh, so observation is that if the node is already, because um, I just kind of assume that if it doesn't have a right node, we just take this node, which is what I did. Um, but actually what happens is that you can actually use this node because now you, you basically, you know that that node doesn't have a right subtree and you need, or you don't mind that it's something has a right subtree, right? So in that reasoning, you can just use that node. Okay, let's do that. Um, because now in this case, uh, if current dot write is equal to node none, then we can actually set current dot write is equal to parent dot write, and then parent dot left. Mm. So we set parent dot left is equal to none in theory. We set the current dot write is equal to parent dot write because by definition per current dot write is none, and then and then we want the parent of the parent to point at current. Okay, so I guess we didn't need this this after all, so that's fine. So, okay. So, current parent. Uh, so, we want to set current.parent is equal to none, but then parent dot parent dot left Oh, wait. No, uh, I don't have to, mm. so is the current pound of notes so I have to do this stupid thing again um uh, basically we want the parent to now connect to this but we don't know whether it is the left or the right so mm, okay fine uh if parent dot left uh this is so yucky parent.left is equal to current which is 
basically no dot left, but yeah. And in this case, we don't do this, we just move it up anyway. So uh, yeah. Um, Okay, and then we do the same, of course, on the other side. Um, so then the current dot left is equal to parent dot left, and then current parent dot right is equal to none. Okay, is this right? This is more right. Is it ultimately right? I don't know. Parent is none. Okay, so this happens if this is a root. What happens if this is a root? Uh, I forgot about this. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't. I mean, it's good that I have all these test cases, which is why TDD kind of works, right? But uh, if this is the case, then if parent is none, and this should be some hint in that because in this case, we also do this thing. But yeah, if parent is none, then... One thing we could have done is actually have a sentinel value, but um, that's fine. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's just say uh, sentinel root is equal to tree node, where it has negative one value, uh, and and yeah, I mean I, I know that you can put in the constructor, but uh, right is equal to root, and then now now we can do it here. And also, by definition, this can no longer be true, so we don't have to worry about the parent being no, none. Um, yeah, and then this should be okay, though. Eh, it's still yucky, but it's one step less yucky, maybe? Uh, let's give it a spin first. Uh, okay, wrong answer. Unfortunately, it's hard to tell which one. Okay, there's a cycle. Uh, that's fine, because we were combining nodes, so it's very possible that I mess up somewhere. Uh, okay, so let's go through it again. Um, What does it say? Oh. Um, so then, okay. So we set the parent to current. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is current parent. Whoops. Just copy and paste my error. Um, okay. This is still wrong answer, which is a little bit sad. I don't know what all this stuff is. How did I show this? Hmm. Is that the wrong answer one though? Mm, well, this one is just wrong. Because, yeah, so I don't know if that one is the wrong answer because there's another wrong answer, which is the 3 1 1. Uh, what a silliness. 3 1's left, so I'm supposed to remove uh, the 2, the root. Okay, so I, I don't get the removing the root correctly, it seems like. Um, yeah, and even the one case, um, which maybe is not... Oh, I returned the wrong thing. I should return the sentinel root that right. That's why. Um, I, I, I meant to do that when I, was, when I was rewriting it, but I forgot about it, to be honest. Um, okay. I mean, I might have other things that are wrong, but at least that should be right. Uh, uh, nope. Hmm. This one thing is still here. Huh. Hmm. If it finds it, I mean, this should return. Yeah, okay. Why am I getting this one wrong with one node? Hmm. I mean, I did change some stuff, so that's probably why, but still a little bit sad. Hmm. Okay, so, hmm, what am I getting wrong? Uh, this is a big yikes, but uh, luckily it doesn't really come up that often. Where's my other print statement? Do I have two print statements? 
like what oh no 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 okay so this is the okay so this is right I, I it just got split into two lines so this should be right um and this is true that this is a leaf oh wow wow oh okay because i was returning root in this case early so that's why um or at least i hope that's why uh, same thing with this um thing but that's why you know you have a comprehensive test suite and that makes it happier okay so just a silly mistake um in this case i think this is uh, technically you could do this but i think it's fine either way because i think this is just um yeah uh, but technically more accurate and consistent um that's why you should build these things from the beginning then you don't run into these um inconsistencies one time error didn't i test this one or oh, something similar hmm dun, dun, dun. oh i copied and pasted and i forgot to copy and paste this part man very sloppy today uh for sure and i don't even got this one right to be honest because i think i just um, I think I just copy paste this part and I didn't look at this part. So, yeah. Um, also, this is just terrible yucky code. But uh, let's actually test add this to the test. So f I mean, hopefully I'm making progress. Last time I had four wrong answers. This time, hopefully I only have uh, two wrong answers. Let's give it a submit. Oh, jeez. Sorry, friends. Maybe I won't improve. Why did I... Okay, what case am I missing? I hope it's just... Uh... Okay, this is impossible to see, but okay, we remove one. Okay, we remove one. Uh... The right node, we just promote the right node, right? That seems pretty straightforward. So we set the six to the four and we should be okay. So why am I... Uh, maybe I copied and pasted a little bit too hastily as well. Let's see. Let's actually go through this. Note that right. Hmm. I mean, this looks exactly the same as this, if nothing else. But... What is the difference? This is impossible to debug anyway. Uh, where's this thing? Hmm. Don't know what that means. Oh, there's an extra three here. Where's the two spaces that is differs? This is way awkward. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm returning. I mean, they don't have visualization. Oh, I guess I could visualize by copy and pasting this. Uh, okay. Okay, so basically we went from this, where we want to get rid of the 1, to this, where we move the 2 up. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Wait, what? Okay, so we got the left. Oh, I'm just being dumb, am I? I did this. Maybe my logic was just wrong. I keep on trying to make that happen, but... Um, that's not happening basically um i basically what's wrong here is that i try to get the leftmost of the right um but if that's not a leaf that's no bueno right um hmm. how am i off by so much
So basically I take the one, replace it with the two is my logic here. Mm, how do I want to do it instead then? Eh, really bad at this one. This is only a medium and I got <laughs> this is more wrong answers than ever. Uh Mm, how do I get the two up in here? I think I tried to be too cute. Um, let me rethink this. I think we should. Uh, I think I should have did the first thing that I said, which is just do one note, move up one note at a time. Um, because now I just have so many edge cases. Um, yeah, I mean, I think sometimes you just have to be good about rebooting yourself, even if it seems like you know. Sure, I spent forty minutes on this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I I thought this would be an easier strategy, but I was clearly wrong. What we should have done is just figuring out uh, one at a time uh, how to move things up. And in this case, what we would do is, if it's not a leaf, we move a one, we move the four up. Um, uh, what happens if we do have a... Uh, Okay. I mean, I think you just have to kind of think about all the possible cases. Um, and I think I was just trying to be lazy. But what happens if we move to four? Well, if we move to four, then we have to move to two up and then the three up. That's fine in theory. But what if there's a... Well, okay. I guess the invariant should be okay. No, because all these numbers to the left of four will be on the node, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. So we go to the right and we looked at the left nose mode. Less left most node. Uh, we replaced this with the two. But then now we lost the three. How do we get the three in a good place? So let's say we have to two, then we but then we have to put the four somewhere. Right? That's what we Hmm. Wow. I mean, the only way that I'm thinking about it is just doing it recursively, but that's a bit of a mess as well. Uh, there goes my dreams of going out and get food a bit. Hmm. Huh. 
how do I want to think about it? I guess that's the problem. I mean, it's not that. Uh, I, I, so the, the thing I'm struggling with right now is just more about um, more about doing it in a lazy way and not um, I don't know, not a uh, because uh, 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 there's just gonna be a lot more if statements, and I'm just trying to figure out now how how to not have more if statements. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but. But yeah, so we look at the left, left most. Okay, let's just say Okay, so we do the leftmost, we put the two. What happens to the three? So let's say we move to one. So we want to get to two. And two, we can set the left of this to be the prior right. No, that's not true, right? We move to one, nothing to the left. Uh, there's nothing to the left. Maybe I messed up. Um, Okay, if there's nothing to, oh, I think I, I missed one step or one level of it, which is that if, yeah, if I want to replace the one, I don't replace the left most of the number. I want to replace it such that we get the next number that is bigger than, oh, sorry, the next number that's smaller than four. So in this case, we actually want to replace it to three by going right most of the, this is a way difficult, or at least for me, a, a tricky formulation. But okay, I think I got it. Um, basically, okay, so we can replace this number one with one of the two things, the left or the right, uh, something from the left tree or something from the right tree. If we, if we want to hold an variant, then um, Let's see, replace the, does that even make sense actually? Because then this three, because if we look at this three, right? This three is, this three is gonna be, um, This three is going to be bigger than two, and two is on the right subtree. So that's not right either, is it? Hmm. But basically, we replace this, but I mean, two is definitely the right answer to remove um, or to, to put into the place of one. But the question is, how do we keep the three? Um, so we assume that here. We assume that after this, we will be at a, 
Well, I mean, it's leftmost, but that means that it may have. So it doesn't have any left node, but it might have a right node. Right? Um, and what do we do with all these right subtree of this? Right, let's say we move to sex. Uh, in theory, here, we would actually do the one. But then let's say we we move to sex and we promote the one. Um, then what happens? And technically, you want the three here, maybe? No, you don't want. Uh, well, technically, you would take the five and. That would be okay, but that's because the five is not a, because the five is a leaf, so the two is not a leaf, and we take it to replace. So what happens if it's not a leaf? That means that everything to the right side is going to be bigger. Well, everything is smaller than the three anyway. Okay, uh, is that really the way I want to do this? This is so many. I mean, I think I get it now. I just have to promote the three to the four, but that just feels awkward. Huh. These tree palms are ridiculous. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, so it's this part. Um, current parent dot right is equal to none. Okay. I'm just trying to trace it. Um, I mean, that's fine. The current parent is. What is current parent anymore? Well, we were. Oh, okay. So, because what we're doing is we're swapping the numbers and we're removing nodes. So, we're removing. Um, so, in this case. Uh, also, we're looking at the code for the other one, so that's maybe confusing. Okay, so the current parent dot left is equal to none, so that means that four we set the left is equal to none, but that's not true. Uh, we should set it to node dot right or current dot right, I guess. And then here be current dot left <sighs> okay so we got <laughs> another right answer uh, uh, accepted but now let's see if that's actually right or do we match our record from last time woohoo uh, so we beat our record from last time for by one this is I think this may be literally my worst problem on lead code um, and I spent a lot of time debugging this, so sorry about that. Uh, my apologies. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm a little bit exhausted. Um, I'm probably going to do the, the explanation in the beginning, and I don't think this is that hard of an explanation. It's just about finding an invariant, which, uh, and also just implementation. I was just trying to find a clean implementation without adding all these cases. Um, but you just have to think about it through. Um, in terms of um, complexity, this is going to be, you know, this is just a breath, uh, a depth first search. And then this is also just going down the tree. So this is going to be all of height of the tree, all of H, and all of one space um, other than the recursive space, so all of H space, all of H time. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you. Uh, so tired, I don't even know what to say. Need to, I was going to go get food, but uh, I still can, but it's a little bit messy. Anyway, uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.